वेल and right now it's just like we are talking about the structures so what's the structure structure are user defined data types so it's less like we are declaring variable or a group of variable and defining some name of it okay it's just like a structure so it is very clear now the structures creates the data type that can be used to group the items of possibly different types into a single type so we are having the multiple data types here and after that we have to combine it into one structure okay and then we can use these variables so if we are having the integer character float double all these data types okay so we have to combine these data types into one structure right now and it's just like this like struct person okay that means struct is a keyword person and after that within the body of the structure we are defining different variables right now it's just like name age and salary so that means one person contains the name age and salary as well so these three are the variables which can use within the structure of person now which are the main parts of the structure right now firstly struct is the keyword okay that we are using for creating a structure okay and after that structure tag or the structure name okay is just like a person so we are creating a structure with the name person right now and it includes the body and uh, within the body we are declaring the many variables as depending upon our requirements so while talking about the person suppose we are having the different variables like uh, firstly the uh, string that is the name then age should be with the integer data type and the salary as well with the float data type so the name age and salary these are the members or the fields of a structures so it is very clear to us that is in one structure we can create a multiple variables or the members in it and then after the concept of structures right now we are discussing why we use the structures here in the programming now it suppose just like if we have a person okay and uh, having its name age and salary okay so these are the three variables we are declaring for taking a information of the one person okay and after that suppose if we are talking about the second person as well then the second person also having some name having some age and having some salary as well then we have to create another three variables or suppose if we are talking about many other people suppose person 3 person 4 person 5 person 6 so we are having the many persons going to manage the information about all these persons so the all these persons having some name all these persons having some age and all these persons having some salary okay then what will be the solution right now we are declaring too many variables for many persons so the solution is we are creating the structure here with the name person suppose and within the body of this structure we are declaring these three variables name age and salary so we can maintain the name age and salary variables for the multiple persons as well with the help of structures so after that let's move towards how we can access the variables here simply like if we are using this structure struct person okay and within the person we have a name age and salary okay and after that within a main function we will declare a person p here okay so p is a structure name so with that name we can access different variables using within the structure so suppose if we are using the name variable okay then we can access it with the help of this p that means p dot name so dot operator will be used here for accessing the member of this structure so every time whenever we use these variables then we use dot operator here with the structure name it's just like suppose person and having the p name so with the help of p we can access all these members like 
p dot name first p dot name means we are talking about the name variable within the structure and if we access the age of the person then we can access the age with the help of again p dot age okay that means we are talking about the age variable within the structure so if we talk about the third thing that is the salary if we can access the salary then we can access it easily with the help of once again p dot salary statement and suppose with this scenario we are talking about the information about the one person okay the person having some name age and salary and if we are talking about the multiple persons having some name age and salary then what's the solution the solution is we are taking another structure name for this suppose it's just like person space p2 now so right now the name is p2 so we can access or we can uh, take input we can performing the output with these variables right now with the help of p2 dot something it's just like p2 dot name that means we are accessing the name of that person the person 2 and if we consider the age of the person then we can easily access it with the help of p2 dot age and suppose for the person 2 we can also having some salary okay so we can access the salary with the help of p2 dot salary and similarly if we are talking about many other persons person space p3 person space p4 and all these names will be used for the accessing different data members or the different variables within the structure as per our requirement so after the concept of structure after the visualization the understanding of its working we are moving towards different coding schemes within the help of structures right now so right now we are having the program uh, having the header files okay and after that we have to declare structure before the main function okay so before the main function we have a uh, structure the person the same example uh, i wrote here struct person that means we are declaring the person and after that within the body of a structure we are having three variables that is name age and salary okay and after that the body of the structure will be terminated and uh, we have also the termination symbol semicolon here and after that in the main function we are assigning a name it's just like person space p okay that means we, we can access all these variables name age and salary with the help of this p name okay with the structure so while taking the input we are displaying enter your name after that uh, scene dot get line get line function is used for the input of string okay whenever we are talking about the input some string from the user then we are using the get line function with scene okay scene dot get line as with the parameter we are using the string name so here is the name of string is p dot name okay we are accessing it with the help of structures okay so we are using p dot name here and after that comma 50 50 means it's a length of that string as we are declaring earlier in this code okay then the name will be inputted from the user after that enter your age then the user enter some age and then that age will be assigned to the p dot age okay so we are using p dot age here and after that enter your salary the user input some salary and the salary is assigned to the p dot salary okay the person's salary and after that we are displaying all these three variables like your name is p dot name your age is p dot age and salary is p dot salary so that means we are talking about any variable and we are accessing any variable with the help of structure p dot something so right now what will be the output of this i am running this code okay and uh, then what will be the output here firstly enter your name I am writing here Ali okay after that the age the age will be suppose 25 and salary suppose salary will be 80,000 okay then I have to enter it then what will be the output right now your name is Ali the age is 25 and the salary is 80,000 okay so we are using all these variables within the structure person and we access all these three variables within the structure as per our requirements 
Now suppose if we are doing this for the multiple persons. So we have to declare another name for accessing the name agent salary of another person then move to this part of code it's just like we have to create once again person space p2 for accessing the person's 2 information we are again having the structure name p2 person space p2 and after that suppose enter the age of second person we have to input some age so we can access it with the help of p2 dot age and once again if we are accessing the salary okay so while input the salary from the user we can access it with the help of p2 dot salary statement so after that we have to display all two things p2 dot age and with the help of p2 dot salary so after that i have to run this program okay and i have to run it and what's the output of it suppose firstly i have to enter some uh, name okay the name is suppose ali after that age age is 25 then salary salary is suppose 80000 and once again into the age of second person so i have to enter 30 right now and after that the salary salary is 90000 so what will be the output right now the output is your name is ali the age is 25 the salary is 80000 and after that the second person's age is 30 and then the second person salary is 90,000 so the concept of structures is very clear to us and after that we are moving towards the coding and we are moving towards all these concepts including the structures right now so thank you so much for watching